Hey friends, it's Natana. Welcome to day nine of 100 for my fitness and sobriety challenge with body. We are doing melt con with morning meltdown 100. This is wrapping up week one. Week one goes into nine days instead of eight days or seven days. Who cares? <laughs> Starting tomorrow, we're going to get back into cardio and it's going to cycle back around. I thought today was going to be the cardio cycle back around day, but I was wrong. Unless honestly, I redid a day I wasn't supposed to, but I'm pretty sure that's not true. It's not true. Taking a sip of my coffee, guys. How did you guys enjoy that Aries full moon? What a blessing. I received such abundance. <laughs> From I got my paycheck, which I didn't even expect because it was before the first. Okay. Oh, I deposited it, it early too. Oopsie. Anyways, I got my paycheck. I received a, a hand knitted blanket and um, kitchen pot holders. I received gourds, uh, pears, and apples. Like, how awesome is that? And then, of course, you know, I had my lovely clients and my coworkers that are just amazing people. Yesterday was rush, rush, rush day. Like, no matter what, it seemed like I just could not, um, you know, keep up and feel like I was ahead of things, which was fine. It all took care of itself and got done. Even last night, like, I started cleaning up a little bit when I got home and I was... Um, like, man, I ran out of my coffee creamer and I forgot to pick up coffee creamer while I had already went to the store. <laughs> so I had to plan to go back to the store and whatever. Um, I was prepping myself for today. So I picked up a little bit of goodies at the store <laughs> last night and I tried a dessert and yuck. Like, I mean, yum, but yuck at the same time. Like part of it was yummy. It was super chocolatey but like the feeling part was just not yummy i was like ew you can't even taste it like what the hell and i would much rather be enjoying a brownie <laughs> and normally i would buy myself brownies um covered with like cream cheese frosting or something like that and i was like don't do it because they're so dense and good and you love them and they'll give you a tummy ache and uh these ones gave me a tummy ache so it really doesn't matter it's like my stomach is so interesting like my stomach just kind of can't handle too much sweet which is great because like i don't need it guys i was being lazy here and i was like what if i just put on the ankle weights on my wrist like they should be like wrist weights and try and do the exercises and no it just doesn't hit the same um anyways <laughs> So yeah, it's a good thing that the sweets are too sweet, but um, at the same time, it's just kind of interesting how your body changes. So I um, did blood work a few weeks ago. If you don't know, I have been on a low estrogen journey this year. Um, starting in 2018, I had a swollen spleen and the doctors couldn't figure out why. We did blood work. We did an ultrasound, but of course these freaking MDs often, more often than not, which they did not check my hormones. Why would they not check my hormones? I'm a woman. I don't know. Anyways, so in 2018, they didn't check my hormones and um, I ended up going to the Chinese herbalist doctor, the functioning medicine doctor and using acupuncture herbs and changing my diet to address my swollen spleen. Well, um, that was helpful about like, mm, we would say like 90% of the way. And so I was so stressed out during that time in my life that I actually broke out in hives and I had never broke out in hives. It took me three days to realize I had hives and thank God I had a roommate because she was like, girl, you, you have hives. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, that's what this is. Okay. So we took care of the hives. And um, how we took care of the hives was with Benadryl and I also went on Pinterest and I looked up like what type of a diet helps get rid of hives. 
and it said a whole, um, I'm sorry, it said an anti-inflammatory diet. So I did an anti-inflammatory diet for a whole week and the hives completely went away. And also, you know what went away? The swollen spleen left over 10% totally went away. So my body responded really well to that anti-inflammatory diet. I don't know if it was because I was like detoxing, but my body is really prone to inflammation. Even if it doesn't seem like I'm swollen, if your fucking spleen is swollen, bitch, you're swollen. You know what I mean? Like that's an organ and that organ processes everything out of the body. It's, it's a filter, you know? And if the filter is backed up, everything's going to be fucking backed up, you know? Like that's not good. So anyways, um, that was 2018 and, um, then in, 2019 the weight just kept creeping on no matter how much i exercised no matter how healthy i ate and i was also dealing with one of my dear friends passing so um there was more stress going on in my life just different stress and it seemed like no matter what i did i that weight just kept creeping on i went from 155 in 2018 to uh 165 in 2010 and me trying to maintenance that with with works with workouts and um, supplements and nutrition so I did morning meltdown 100 in 2019 during this time actually and then we fast forward to 2020 and the pandemic happened and um, my weight was maintaining itself but um, during COVID no matter the fact that I was walking at least 30 minutes to an hour every day outside I was doing my five to six days a week of exercises and sometimes double exercises um, the weight just kept creeping on I was meal prepping the weight it just kept creeping on and I was like what the fuck so it was like an up and down battle, you know, like these big waves rolling on in through every year. So go get to 2021. I moved to California because my mom had um, congestive heart failure and two strokes five months back to back. My stepdad was recovering from cancer surgery. And I moved back to California. I'm moving with my mom. I'm so stressed out. I put on 20 something pounds in two months okay now that was due to poor diet that was due to stress that was due to depression that was due to lack of exercise that was due to all of the reasons somebody would normally put on stress i'm just waiting for her to get her shit together here on the workout program guys that's why i'm not working out because i took like a little fucking break okay anyways so I go to the doctors and I tell her like, Hey, something's wrong with my hormones. I put on this much weight. I need blood work done. You know, yada, yada, yada. She's like, well, are your periods normal? I'm like, yeah. She's like, do you have PCOS? I said, no. She says, there's no reason to test your hormones. And I said, bitch, did you hear what I said? I fucking put on this much weight in this short amount of time. And I had to argue with her. And I said, listen, I want you to understand the reason I picked you as an MD is because you said that you're into a holistic, um, realistic approach of health and here you are denying me to get basic blood work done that's really factual the evidence i'm giving you about my weight gain and my stress and so she begrudgingly agrees but doesn't test all of my hormones i'm taking another sip of my coffee so I can't do shit about it because this bitch fucked me over and ended up leaving the practice shortly after anyways. So I end up moving to Oregon in May of 2022. So I moved to California in August of 2021. I moved to Oregon in May of 2022. And um, I'm still struggling with my weight. I start a new job and one of my coworkers and I got into a small little tiff for the first time over a whole food plant-based, no processed oil diet versus a carnivore diet. He's a man, I'm a woman. Obviously we gotta treat our bodies different. I had stumbled upon the McDougal diet and I thought, this is so fucking weird. Who loses weight just eating a shit ton of potatoes because I always thought starches were bad for you. So I was really obsessed about it and it kept coming across my news feed on YouTube and I'm so glad it did because it fucking changed my life. I was working out again. No, at that point I wasn't working out yet. I was trying to, but I just wasn't doing it. I was just going on walks every now and again. 
And um, so I made a bet with my coworker that I could lose weight doing a whole food, plant-based, no processed oil diet uh, versus not, right? And I could keep it off for a whole month. That was the bet, right? So I did 10 days of a Mary's mini. If you don't know what that is, totally go on YouTube and Google it. And then after the 10 days, I did a whole food, plant-based, no processed oil, McDougal diet. Um, and if you don't know what that is, go on YouTube and search it. It's amazing. I'll try and put the links in the description below because guys, it changed my life. I mean, just keep in mind, everybody's body is different. Everybody's body's going to respond differently, but like just to kickstart and detox and to see how your body responds, I, I totally feel like it's worth the chance of just trying it. So I ended up losing 20 pounds in one month without exercise doing those two things. Okay. And I kept it off for over a month. It was amazing. I got back into working out because I was through my depression. I was feeling motivated, like I could start moving my body again. And at this time, uh, Beachbody had merged with Body. Uh, I'm sorry, with Open Fit, and had rebranded itself as Body. So this is about a year ago, actually. And um, I started off with a dance program from one of the new instructors and had dropped some more weight and my ass went from <laughs> like a balloon back down to normal size and it was amazing. I was like, oh my God, this was all inflammation, dude. It was crazy how much water weight your body could hold. I don't even know how I got on this subject, but here we are. So, um, after that, I did, um, after that dance program, which I can't think of what it's called right now with one of the new instructors, I did, um, uh, what is that one with Jericho and the lease, um, uh, fire and flow. And that was great because you have weights and then mobility weights and then mobility. And I loved it. And I love Elise and I love Jericho. Um, and then after that, I was doing like the bar programs and the Pilates programs. Oh, the estrogen journey. But then I found out I had low estrogen. Okay. So here we are. We're all back around the story here, here. So, um, and then I stopped doing the whole food, plant-based, no processed oil, intermittent fasting and exercise, because all of those things are counterintuitive to raising your estrogen levels. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like my body is finally coming back to normal. I'm finally getting back to where I was, you know, at my fittest, at my fittest, at my lowest weight, I was at 140. And um, here I am at 215 and dropping all that weight back down, right? Like how crazy. So um, I had started putting weight back on because I was taking these supplements and changing the way I ate and not exercising as much and da 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 da. And um, my estrogen dropped lower. My testosterone dropped lower. My All of it just dropped lower. I was like, what the fuck? So I gave up on that. I was pretty depressed. I used it as an excuse for some months to not do shit, but I'm back at it. And I got a new doctor and we just did blood work. And I'm happy to report that everything has risen back up. For the most part, I'm still in the low category because I was so low, you know, but from February of this year until now, I'm almost at the levels that I need to be at to not have low progesterone, low estrogen, and low testosterone. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyways, guys, don't ever give up on yourself. Don't ever take one doctor's opinion for, for fact. Just keep doing what you know you need to do. Keep doing what makes you feel good and keep finding a way to make it through. I love you guys so much. Thank you for working out with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for being my friend. I appreciate you so much. And don't forget, I'm offering a 90 day fitness and sobriety challenge starting October 3rd to end of the year of 2023. So if you want to join, um, I have my email in the description below. Send me an email, leave me a comment in the comment section. And I'm excited to build a tribe of like-minded people who are just ready to ascend their themselves into the highest timeline and highest version of themselves. So that way we can raise the collective energy of this planet and really turn this place into heaven on earth through transforming our own landscapes. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.